Dirk in Lingen, Germany writes, Paul, my name is Dirk. Hey, Dirk. <laughs> and I'm from Germany. Good job. My question is, how do engineers turn an analog recording into high resolution? I mean, the information on an analog tape is limited, true, and one cannot add data to improve the sound. So why does the hi-fi or high-res version sound better? I don't get it. Well, you are not wrong in not getting it. So let's go over a couple of things. The basics. If you are transferring from an analog tape, there are a couple of ways to do it in, in digital audio. And as always, high resolution is going to sound better than lower resolution. So if we assume that this analog tape is a full frequency range, dynamic range of whatever is available on tape, and, and, and here's Dirk's point. The, the available dynamic range of a tape is like 70 dB, maybe on a good day. And the frequency response, yes, it can go out on a, on a well done tape. It can go out to 20K or so. And that's an easy task for, let's say, CD quality, because CD has almost 100 dB of dynamic range, 30 more than tape. So what difference would it make if we had a CD capture or a high resolution DSD capture? Well, so let's, that's what he's talking about and he's absolutely right. So let's just break it down. When we do a standard CD capture, whether we are recording a live event or whether we are recording an analog tape, it's going to sound the way a CD capture does. You've got PCM, you've got all the stuff, the, the filters, the, the sharp cutoff at, uh, at 22 kilohertz, all that stuff going on that gives CD a certain sound. If you compare that, I don't care what you're recording, to a high resolution DSD copy, for example, the difference is immediately obvious because it's such a better recording medium. So that's what we start with. A high resolution copy is going to be a better sound than a CD copy just because of the nature of the capture method that we're doing it. All right, but the biggest difference that you are probably hearing is the remastering of it. So a lot of high resolution analog transfers have been remastered, remixed. Take the guys over at Mobile Fidelity. They do that all the time. They tweak this up, move this down, change this, EQ it a little bit, because those are things that you probably couldn't have done effectively with analog tape, but now that you have this crazy range, that's things you can do to improve the sound. And that's likely what you're hearing most. But we have those two things going on and we can't ignore those. So the best way to do an analog tape transfer is on DSD. That's the best because there you're not risking losing anything and you stand to gain quite a bit. Hope that helps. Thanks.